And the E stands for? Exodus. Oh, that's so hard to remember. Exodus. We recall that the M and D are multiply and divide. This is one of the biggest places people make mistakes because they forget that it's not that M goes before D. This goes from left to right. Excuse me? M goes first if it's on the left. If division's on the left, division goes first. And we'll do some problems together to show that. And we know that this is for addition and subtraction. And again, it's not addition goes first and subtraction goes second. It is in the problem, whatever's on the left goes first, and whatever's on the right is the next step. So I passed out a book with three problems in it. We're going to work through the first one together. Please fold it in half. I will be expecting this to be the next glued thing into your notebook. If you notice, there is a grouping symbol here that is not parentheses. There's a couple of other types as well as parentheses. What do we see as a grouping symbol here? What's this kind of grouping symbol? Absolute, Absolute value. And this one is a radical. So we're going to start with this first. You will need to write pretty small because there's a lot of steps to getting this problem done. And I think I'm going to get a pencil out actually because I know myself and I will probably make some mistakes as we go through this. So whenever you're solving expressions, you just bring down the parts you're not touching. <coughs> 5 minus 11 inside the absolute value is going to be negative 6. Yes. Oh, that's because somebody in your row gave it away. Can you guys pass this back? Okay. As we're doing this, we can do take care of something else as well. So I'm going to put plus 2, and I'm going to solve two parts of this as I go. I first did this. I'm also going to do this absolute value. So I'm going to rewrite pretty much everything here. It's going to be 2 times 7 minus 4 times the absolute value of negative 1 over the radical of negative 3 squared plus 2 times 17. Most of the work we're going to be doing is going to be inside these parentheses as we keep going down. We're going to keep writing negative 2 to the fourth power repeatedly because it's going to be one of the last things we take care of. Minus 3. What's the absolute value of, six, of negative 6? So I'm going to write this as a positive 6 to be multiplied now because I'm pulling it out of its absolute value. Plus 2 times... 2 times 7 minus 4. I'm going to work, let me just circle them so you guys see what I'm doing again. This part is what we did, and we're going to do this part. What is the absolute value of negative 1? So we're going to multiply that here over that crazy radical that you're probably all like, what is that thing? I haven't seen them often. but we'll get to it.
And again, we need to get that crazy parentheses to the right simplified before we deal with these things. They're just going to stay there. This is an exponent. We still have all of this stuff inside of a grouping symbol. Grouping symbols go first. I'm going to go ahead and multiply what's in the numerator here. What's 2 times 7? Sorry, I've got this reflection that's not making this easy to see. Is that a little bit better? Sorry. You should have told me. <laughs> My camera does not like black background. That's something I've learned over time. So we're going to do 2 times 7 is 14. And negative 4 times positive 1 is going to give us negative 4. Over, we're going to start dealing with this a little bit. We've got the absolute value. What is negative 3 squared? Not should be negative 9. Always. Because we do 3 squared and then there's no parentheses, so that negative is in front of it. Remember the work yesterday? Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to do plus 2 times 17. Okay. Yes. What? You don't have the paper? Okay, there's also one by the sink. Okay, next step, negative 2 to the fourth power minus 3 times 6 plus 2 times this parentheses. What is 14 divided by 4, or minus 4? 10. 10 over, we're going to keep the, ups, or the square root to the radical, negative 9 and positive 34. Negative 9 plus 34 would give us a positive 25. It's still inside the radical, but we're getting closer to this crazy grouping symbol being taken care of, aren't we? Yes. Okay. So still again, negative 2 in parentheses to the fourth power minus 3 times 6 plus 2. We're going to keep the 10 as it is. We're going to simplify the grouping symbol that's inside the grouping symbol. What is the square root of 25? Okay. One more time. Negative 2 to the fourth power minus 3 times 6 plus 2 times what? 2. 2. And now I can finally do the exponent because this is just multiplication now. We've simplified everything that was in that grouping symbol. So now we can start going for, really from left to right because negative 2 to the fourth power, we did this yesterday. What are we going to get? 16 minus 3 times 6 plus 2 times 2. Now in reality, I probably would have simplified all of those at the same time but we're trying to follow the steps and do this the right way. 16 minus 18 plus 2 times 2 is 4. We're going to work from left to right because all that's left is addition and subtraction. 16 minus 18. Negative 2 plus 4 gives us 2. And always you want to draw a box or something around your answer. Okay, we, we made it. I'm going to let you and your partner work on the two on the inside, and we'll come back together and check if you've got them right in a few minutes, okay? <laughs>